time and not the last time. In Next Gen Worship Center and with a standing ovation and for the first time in Winnipeg, ladies and gentlemen, make welcome. Right. That's enough for me, but can somebody shout for Jesus in this place? Somebody lift up a shout of praise. Somebody say hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, Anybody ready to worship God tonight? In this, in this cold Winnipeg. Pastor, can everybody give it up for Pastor Walla one time? Thank you so much for having me, sir. We got off the plane and we walked outside and the wind hit. And Pastor was talking like it was summer out here. I don't, it's cold, y'all. I don't know what all y'all doing here in this cold place. <laughs> but does anybody know that in the presence of God, anything is possible? Anybody expecting a breakthrough tonight? So your breakthrough is going to come in your worship tonight. So God takes center stage so that you would be seen so that you would be glorified. Father, we want to see your glory cover the earth like the waters cover the sea. Father, we pray that if somebody has a heavy spirit that you would lift it through worship tonight. Father, that we would feel more freedom to worship you than ever before. All to give you glory. Father, we know that expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. Anybody expecting a miracle tonight? So have your way. Kingdom of God come. Will of God be done. In Jesus' name. Can everybody just put your hands together in this place? Worship if you like. Come on, help me say there's only one name. Come on, somebody lift up your voices. With power to say. With power to say. With power to say. Can somebody shout out Jesus in this place? Hey! And our God. Is champion, he reigns forevermore, forevermore. Come on, sing it out again. Say, I got, I got. So he's champion, he's champion, he reigns, he reigns forevermore. forevermore. Get loose and every knee will bow down. Every knee will bow down and say, Every tongue will confess. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. You are Lord. You are Lord. Come on, somebody raise it up. Say, Our God.
So, 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 so. just recently, um, wrote this song, one of the most simple songs I've ever written in my life. And we put it out on YouTube just a couple months ago. And the song just says, you have rescued my life and I'm never going back. And so my response is hallelujah. You're my redeemer. Hallelujah. Anybody ever been rescued? Anybody been anybody ever been in a place where you were hopeless and didn't know how you were going to get out of it? So let's worship. You have rescued my life.
Daddy, I couldn't earn it. I couldn't earn it. I don't deserve it. Still, you need to Come on, somebody open your mouths and worship Him. For you are holy. You're holy. Are you Lord God? Almighty. Say, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Say, you are holy. songs for a long time, but in that season, God gave me so many songs in the middle of that storm season of my life, and um, I'm a preacher's kid. Any, any PKs in the room? Come on, PKs. So my dad was a little eccentric, which a lot, I, a lot of PKs share similar stories, you know. My dad, I'm one of eight siblings, and um, my dad would wake all of us up at 5 a.m. every single morning for devotions. So we'd be there, and he would have a word to speak, and we read the word, and we sang. We could not sit down and sing. When you worship, you got to stand up. So we'll be standing there with our blankets on, <laughs> not happy, not happy, y'all. There was no happy moments. <laughs> but still standing, right? <laughs> Another thing that my dad did was in order for us to get dessert after dinner, we had to bring a scripture. And so I would be in my room studying the word, just thinking about that ice cream, you know? <laughs> and it's so interesting how God is so intentional because when I went through that difficult season I was just telling you about, God was flooding my mind with all of these scriptures that I learned when I was a kid, you know? And one of those scriptures is, hear my cry, O God, attend unto my prayer, 
From the ends of the earth will I cry unto thee. And when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And in the middle of the stormiest season of my life, I leaned on that scripture. I, was, I started saying it every day. I would wake up in the morning saying, hear my cry, O God, attend to my prayer. From the ends of the earth will I cry unto you. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. And it, it just became my mantra. And it just inspired this song that says, be my strength, O God. Be my peace, O God. Father, light the way. Be my present help because you're my God. And when I'm overwhelmed, lead me to the rock because you're my God. Hallelujah. Somebody worship the Lord tonight. Somebody give him the highest praise. We lean on you tonight, Father. There's nobody like you, Lord, in all the earth. You were the my strength. My strength. My strength, my strength, oh God. Come on, help me say B. Be my strength, say my strength, my strength, say oh God, oh God. Say B. be, be my strength, say my strength. Say, Father, light, the way. Be my presence. Be my presence. Say, you're my God. You're my God. Say, you're my God. You're my God. Come on, all over the house. Say, be my peace. My peace, my peace, say, oh God. oh God, come on, somebody worship, be my peace, be my peace, say, my peace, my peace, say, oh God, oh God, say, Father,
got to the end of that season I remember I was in a grateful place and I feel like I say this all the time but I think it bears repeating I spend so much time thinking about my past so much time concerned about my future but not enough time in the present moment you know and it's interesting because when I was going through my difficult season, I went to see a therapist. And I know a lot of people in our culture is like, oh, you went to see a therapist? Are you crazy? No, I'm not crazy. It's just <laughs> therapy is great, by the way. It's a good thing. And that's, that's something that the therapist told me, that I don't spend enough time in the present moment. And I have to enjoy what's happening in my life right now, you know, and that's difficult for me, you know, um, and so for one moment, I got into that present moment, and th that storm season was behind me, and man, like gratefulness came rushing in, 
And the Holy Spirit spoke to me in that moment and said that each person's worship is as unique as their fingerprint. Yeah. And that, that thought process inspired this song that says, You, Lord, you are worthy. And no one can worship you for me. For all the things you've done for me. And you know, you know, that lyric things you've done for me it doesn't really mean anything if you haven't been through anything you know but when you've been through something now you have some depth to your worship you know and so I wrote that verse and then I thought to myself okay Lord what can the response be and the only response that I could come up with was so here's my worship all of my worship receive my worship all of my worship say here's my worship here's my all of my Say all my worship. Come on, somebody, let's worship God in this way. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
say this, I'll say this one last thing um, really quickly. My mom told me I did not start speaking until I was five years old. And it's, and when she told, she just told me that last year. Um, and I found it so interesting because my son didn't start speaking until he was five. And they were labeling him autistic. They had him on that spectrum. And then all of a sudden when he turned five, it's like his tongue was released and he was able to speak. And now he's a senior in high school on the honor roll, about to go to college next year. Yeah. And so the devil is a liar, you know. And so even after I started speaking when I was five, I had a terrible stutter. So I don't know if anyone's ever dealt with a stutter before, but... It's like you weigh in your mind. Anyone that's ever dealt with that, it's like you weigh in your mind the effort that it takes to get words out. And a lot of times you have something to add to a conversation and you push it back down because it's embarrassing to try to get it out, you know? And it's difficult to get it out. And so here's the lie, real quick, here's the lie that I believe from the enemy my entire life. 
um, because, you know, the enemy uses your history against you, you know. And so the lie that I believed, because I'm such a shy and introverted person, the enemy used that as well because the lie that I believed was that I had nothing valuable to say. And so that's why it's like every time I sing that lyric and I will not be silent, I feel like I'm letting the enemy know that he lost this round. You know? And I will not be silent. I will. Say as long as, as long as I am free. Say I will. I will always worship you. Say as long as. I love you guys so much.